Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Worker Studio. Today I'm going to show you how we can create some realistic render from this building in here. So first of all, I'm going to click on the F on my keyboard and select C1 as the scene number one for my rendering. So everything is good for us right now. We only need some type of lighting and some type of effects for creating our final render for the exterior rendering. Let's get to work. I'm going to click on the visual setting in here. I'm going to move it in this place to see what happened in my environment. I'm going to start my job with the projection. It's on the perspective, so I'm going to convert it to the two-point perspective to see all the lines straight and up ahead. So I'm going to activate the depth of field and turn off the autofocus. As you can see, now we have some blur render and image in here. So I'm going to decrease the focal point and play with it or increase it. Now you can see some shiny line in your environment. So for example, if you want to focus on this police car, as you can see, you can hold it in there. Or this kid in here, you can hold it in there. But I want to focus on the uh, building's facade. So some number about maybe 16.24, really good for me. And the depth of field, when I increase it, as you can see, all the environment will get blur and we only have some little focus on our targets, but it's not realistic. So I'm going to decrease it with some normal number about the, uh, maybe 8%, something like that. Or if you want more blurness in your environment, you can increase it to the 14%. Something like that is not bad in here. So. Field of view helps you to zoom and focus on your targets. So when I decrease it, as you can see, I get closer to my area, my shot. Like that, very simple. And when it's reached to the, uh, I think, 10 degree horizontal, we completely focusing on the personage and this kid in here. So I'm going to type some number manually about 47 degree in here. Or I can zoom a little bit on my target like the 44 like this. So we have some option that called exposure. When I increase the exposure, I can see the brightness in my environment, but it's really too high for it and it's not realistic. So I'm going to reset it and type 54 person for it, something like that. So I will go to the image bar and use the auto contrast for some fine detailing and final job. Saturation helps you to create some type of vibrant colors in your environment. As you can see, imagine this is the uh, autumn sunset time and when you increase the saturation, all the colors burn out. So it's really good, but in some special project and renders. So be careful about it and don't use it on the high values every time. But 104% is really good for this project. I need some more warm render. So I can decrease the uh, color temperature with the Kelvina. For example, 5200 Kelvina is really good for my job right now. And I will go to the effects. I will turn the uh, motion blur off and type it to the 0% and blue more lens flare. In this type of shots that we don't have any type of sun front of the uh, camera, lens flare and bloom doesn't mean any more so i will turn off the bloom option and decrease the uh, lens flare to the uh, 16 person something like that so wignate helps you to create some type of dark effects in your environment and picture so when i increase the uh, wignate as you can see we have some dark areas in here but i suggest to don't use it on the high values but in this special case I will use it as the uh, 36%. Chromatic abbreviation related to some type of errors like this in here. As you can see, these type of errors. So I will come back to my camera number one and close it. So chromatic abbreviation depends on you and your taste. So I prefer to increase it in this render, for example, 36%. And let's get to the atmosphere bar. We have some option that called fog option, intensity on the 10% and the height is about 70 meter. So when I decrease the height option, as you can see, 
to the one meter or for example two meter and when I increase the intensity a little bit you can see some faintness in these places in the two meter areas so it's not really useful right now so I will turn it off to the zero percent some brightness related to this some power in here so it's a little bit too high I think so I will decrease it to some normal number like the uh, 36 percent shadow sharpness as you can see we can see this kids shadow leaves and trees shadow on this building so it's a little bit uh, too soft for these type of exterior renders so I will increase it as I can to some type of number like the uh, 92 percent and you can see the final result like this and it's really wonderful but you can move this kid if you want to see his or her shadow on other places so what happened if I use some lower numbers when I type 34 percent I can see the shadows like that so it completely depends on you and your project situation so 64 percent for it artificial light brightness related to these spotlights in here so we don't need it right now and wind will be zero for the better quality of the trees ambient brightness some number about 58 percent and sky in here is good so everything is good for us right now so i will click on my screen like that and i think i can adjust this kid in here because it's a little bit weird for me in some reasons about the shadow i will rescale it all right now the shadow is better in the background and i will move it for example to the right side as you can see something like that or you can move it in front of your camera it completely depends on you some type of shadow like this is really wonderful so i'm gonna go to the enscape environment increasing the rendering quality to the high mode something like that will happen so i prefer to use it on the medium mode for some reasons because when you increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode you must change some type of settings again and again so for this reason i will render it very simple in here so i will click on the save option to see what happened it takes a little bit time and after that you can see the result very clear and wonderful so i think it's over right now so this is the result in here as you can see now i want to try the a uh, night rendering how i can do this work very simple I hold shift and right click and change my time of the day to the near to the morning not completely on the night mode for example something like that okay all right something like this for example 5 3 so I'm gonna press F on my keyboard create some new view for my night mode and I think 532 is really good and I'm gonna press on the create button in here the Y is about 90 and the pitch is about 14 and I'm gonna press create option so Enscape scene number one created for me very simple and easy I can click on it and change my environment to the night mode but we have some works in there so I'm gonna minimize it Go to the Enscape and SketchUp environment. I will click on these IS profiles that I created before this tutorial. So I'm going to click on the Enscape objects and increase the luminous intensity. Something like that. But uh, if you can see this render in the right side of my screen, as you can see, we have some burnout lightings in here. How we can fix it? The spotlight is some type of artificial light. So I'm going to set value lower than 10 
some number like 8 candela all right or i can reduce it to the for example 2 candela something like that and i will go to the uh, visual setting in here click on the uh, atmosphere and we have artificial light brightness in there when i increase it all of these spotlights power will increase at the uh, same time and it's really wonderful for our job the point is that artificial light brightness helps you to manage your screen very fast and easy so some number about 122 percent is really good and everything is done for us at the uh, night mode we have some problem with these glasses and i will done it for you don't worry about it so we have night sky brightness when i decrease the uh, night sky brightness as you can see all the stars will be hide for us so when i increase it we have some stars in our environment and the sky something like that all right so it completely depends on you how you want to use it and some brightness is not really useful in there and the shadow sharpness at the night mode will be near to the zero because we usually have some type of soft shadows in our environment so image bar is good i will reduce the saturation to the 98 and color temperature is 5000 Kelvina. lens flare is good and main bar is good uh, so I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape material editor in here and I will click on the uh, trans glass blue So I will remove the uh, texture for the uh, reflection box in there and now the result is much better than the uh, past roughness is 6% something like that and I will turn off the uh, frosted glasses So now you can see what happened in our environment if you want to add some more reflections on your glass, you can click on the reflection texture box and select your reflection texture from some place like that. For example, some type of trees in there. And click on the uh, inverted. When you invert it, your glass reflection will completely destroy. So don't turn it on. And I will click on the explosive texture transformation and use some rotation for my trees like that some type of reflection like this is not bad so i will turn it off and increase the uh, opacity a little bit about 46 percent refractive index when i increase it as you can see some type of reflections will be moved to other sides and now everything is better than the past so i will maximize this screen in here and time for the night mode rendering so i'm gonna hold shift and f11 and save it on my desktop and press save it takes a little bit time and after that you can see the final result of your job so i will go to my desktop in here and we have two images in this place this is the uh, first image that we have in here and this is the uh, night mode that we have in there so i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for your watching please subscribe us and goodbye